I am author AJ McMaston, and this is real time. <laughs> <laughs> I've always loved a good storm. In Brisbane, Australia, our storms are legendary. A good boil up of the sky with its widespread crackles of lightning, booming thunder behind a blackening atmosphere, just the stuff of a good tale and the hallmark of a real summer's day. Sticky fly swatting affairs they are too. The tale of the starways begins with the storm. I call them storm chasers. The story takes place in a suburb of Brisbane. Therefore, the storms that happen in the book always have an electrical origin. And as you know, never go chasing electrical storms. To illustrate, have a look at this photo of a Brisbane area. Sure, by all means, chase rainbows. Many a crock of gold has gone begging because no one has bothered to find that rainbow's end. But there are other kinds of storms, storms that go begging to be chased. I am Justin. I'm co-owner of Aussie Storm Chasers and I am a storm chaser. As a storm chaser, I head out chasing thunderstorms. I use various equipment, uh, computer models, laptops, get in the car, drive out, photograph it, film it, send it back to the Bureau of Meteorology and most of all, enjoy it. It's, it's a lot of fun, uh, particularly hail, uh, lightning is, gives the hair standing up on the back of your neck, particularly when it's very close. And storm structure, as a lot of people would see coming across, is quite beautiful. I uh, do it here in Australia and in America. I have for about 10 years now, and I've seen close to 50 tornadoes. Other people can get involved with storm chasing very easily. Uh, there are plenty of avenues. You can become a severe storm spotter with the Bureau of Meteorology. Uh, if you jump on their website, you'll be able to download that. Um, pretty much just start small. Um, if you go on your first storm chase, don't expect to get an epic supercell thunderstorm to start with. You may bust, it's what we call in the chase community, when you actually get nothing at all. It's all part of the learning process and sooner or later you'll find yourself getting better at forecasting, you'll be choosing better target areas and you'll be on better thunderstorms. It doesn't happen overnight, but it does happen and the first thing to do is get your camera and get out there and give it a try. One thing when you do go storm chasing is you have to be aware of your surroundings. Whether or not you're out in the Darling Downs of South East Queensland, there are snakes, spiders, you know, all sorts of insects that can bite. That is a massive issue when storm chasing. And of course, the thunderstorms themselves. Very large hail, you can get baseball, tennis ball size, lightning is the most fun. I can tell you where a thunderstorm will form, where it won't. The one thing it can't predict is where lightning will hit. Uh, that is the the biggest trouble with storm chasing, if it starts to get too close, get out of there. Uh, with storm chasing in America, it's a completely different kettle of fish. Uh, over here in Australia, you may be able to drive straight through a thunderstorm and relatively okay. In America, you just cannot take that chance. They can be rain-wrapped tornadoes. They're the most violent thunderstorms on the planet and they will kill people. Tornadoes in particular, when you're chasing a, a violent storm like that, you have to have exit strategies. You can't just go up and down one single road. You must have roads to get out of there in case it changes. Tornadoes change track very regularly and last second as well. So you've got to have an exit strategy. And also the hail over there can be the size of grapefruits. That's another reason you really need to be very vigilant when going into thunderstorms there. The atmosphere is very dynamic and can change extremely quickly. I know myself, I was caught out in 2011 with an EF5 tornado, a wind speeds of nearly 400 kilometres an hour, developed in 15 minutes and nearly took us out and missed us by 300 metres. There are various uh, outlets to do with storm chasing, not just here in Australia but worldwide. Um, Particularly if you are looking to get involved, uh, Australian Severe Weather Association is a really good one for Australia. It brings everybody from around the country. We have one general meeting uh, and everyone turns up from around the country each year and it's a wonderful thing to do. Uh, also locally, I'm a part of a few Facebook groups including South Brisbane Storms and Aussie Storm Chasers. I'm also lucky enough to uh, be asked to be a tour guide for Silver Lining Tours as part of Roger Hill's crew in America. So I basically get paid to chase storms every year in America. One of the more infamous storms that I recall was back on Friday, May 31st, 2013. Uh, it was a very volatile setup in Western Oklahoma and it produced the largest tornado ever recorded at 4.2 kilometres wide. Wind speeds up to 297 miles an hour. Thunderstorms initiated along the dry line and 
Within 15 minutes when severe warned for quarter size hail and damaging winds. Not too long after, the supercell had emerged with a big mesocyclone as it came right out in front of us. Shortly after, the supercell thunderstorm became tornado warned and it was quite clear that this tornado was going to be very rain wrapped and hard to see. Myself and three of my friends standing there watching this violent beast come charging at us to the southeast at 30 miles an hour. It was evident that there was a violent tornado rain wrapped inside. It was a matter of time until we could see this beast as it came bursting out of the rain. Pop, there goes a power flash. Pop and another one. It was clearly evident I could see the left side of the tornado as it was violently churning across the open countryside. As it came hurling towards us, it was nearly time to pack up and get out of there as quick as we could, try and find the safest road out of there before it overran us. Crack, a cloud to ground lightning strike hits within about 300 metres, the hair is raised on the back of your neck. That's too close for comfort. The tornado is now a mile away and getting closer by the second. Get in the car boys, we need to get out of here ASAP. I must say there is one storm that you should never chase. That's a celestial storm. <laughs>